Oh, so we'll, we'll kind of finish off with double exposures. Like one of my favorite things to do are, are spend double exposures. Um, it's basically just taking. Um, so what I used to do, I have this little pocket size film camera right here. And then on a vacation, I would just go wherever we went, just take the whole roll there. So if this was in New York, just Skyline, whatever, whatever. And then one time or th one, throughout the whole week. Throughout the week. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Wherever I'm at. And then bring that film home, uh, rewind it, put it back in the same camera. And then, so this is Coco Head. So it's just for this one. Oh, and are you finding contrasting things? I've seen a series of these, of the underwater ones, yeah. mind blowing. But, you know, are you finding moments that contrast it in that way? So, you know, I'm going to shoot the whole skyline. And then you're going to find something that's almost a complement, like a balance of opposites, so to say. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, or you just wing I, it? I'm just super being and just like, happens. Do you so, remember your composition to a degree? No, OK, awesome. Yeah, Everything out the window, guys, <laughs> just go. OK, good. Uh, this is another one where, you know, San Francisco. Yeah. Like, very, 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 kind of had a whole roll of the San Francisco thing. Is this multiple um, double exposures? Because <laughs> yeah, I see the palms, I see the flowers. Yeah, I, yeah. How many times could you expose film in that sense? Uh, as much until it gets overexposed. So like, yeah, 400 feet film. Uh, I, I would shoot it at, it sounds all nerdy, but 800 twice, right? To get back to 400. Um, but it's possible to overexpose film, just like I did. It. It's possible to overexpose your digital photograph if you take too many, Very cool. too much light on it. Yep. Uh, yeah, um, you, you could use it with people too. I'm always a fan of just uh, taking pictures of like, Foliage or, or plants or something colorful with some contrast in it, and then adding, uh, yeah, place. Like how how many too. don't work out in this way? Because if you had it a different way, that eye is so powerful. Yeah. You know what? There's actually a filter that they do on like Instagram and yeah. the social medias, <laughs> but you're doing it in camera, which is the beauty thing. It's just so because so many people yeah. can do a lot of these different things to a degree in post, but being able to create this, this is in camera you guys on film that he's doing this not in post and it is just a gorgeous effect in that way but it works so perfectly there must be somewhere you're like oh, oh the, 100%. That whole, so that has one roll one shot on it, i probably have four of ones. yeah and that, that's if i get four ones, hey that's three, four solid ones, yeah, so there's yeah. One that don't line up, like, absolutely oh, what, what, what films do you like to double expose using my, my favorite is is a, any 400 speed color film any, so any 400, 400. Speed color film, yeah uh, Kodak, Ultramax, whatever, that's not too expensive. Epic. It's just so you can remember the settings and 400 speed is pretty good for all around daytime. 400 speed, epic. Uh, Dude, these are, yeah, what a cool like, series. Yeah. It's just more like, it's just like, like I said, like once I start figuring out a way to do something, I, I just try to bring it mm -hmm. to um, the water or mm -hmm. anything with surfing. So like, oh cool, I'll try double exposures in the water. So. Dude, so sick, John. So nice. <laughs> uh, another segment. If you can see the bottom left, that's your helmet. You're in this photo. Oh, yeah, thank you, John. Here. Yeah, there, there I am. In the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this, uh, this has been going. It's so beautiful because, like I said, you could do this in post if you really wanted to. But the satisfaction, it's I mean, it's, it's having the yeah. right exposure in anything that you shoot, shooting manually or doing something, and just having that spot on exposure so your post is a lot more, um, is a lot less time consuming. Is such a beautiful thing. I know we have a few more photos here, and then we're going to jump into a few questions shortly. Yeah. Um, Jeez. Yeah, just another one. Just I love pants, right? Pants and textures and colors, and then just throwing in some skin. I think I need a print to that one. That's incredible. The greens and the golds and that man. Um, so this was that um, one you were talking about, where this one is almost haunting. The way you shot this a little bit. Like honestly, I was kind of blown away by how well it came out because i had the idea you were impressed by yourself yeah and when it worked i was you know like i said like sometimes it doesn't work you get one or two three yeah. points it's cool maybe like too many out of carry room it was pretty cool like everything like that so i shot underwater uh up in kukuki on the north shore of Oahu, just underwater like waves breaking mm -hmm. just a whole roll and then that same day i went to waikiki put the film back in my camera and just start shooting stuff about waikiki uh, and so they just lined up really nice Jeez, dude. It, to me, that's it. Look, oh, that's just mind blowing. Like I said, you could do this in post, but he's doing this on film in camera. It, it's weird because once you start doing it, 
we kind of get addicted to the idea of like, well, yeah. what else can I do? Right. right. Like, what if I take a picture of this and then try to double close it with this? Like, and that's so fun to me. Like, you can do it in digital, like maybe that's where you want to start before you just get so busy. Like, yeah. See what it looks like. See if your idea makes sense. Like, you, you can know. do it on your digital camera. Yeah. I know. Mr. John Lawrence will pop in at some point and he'll tell us exactly how to do it on our camera. Yeah. That was just the idea. After I did the wave one, I was like, well, what else would be cool in the sky? Like, right. What about sharks? Okay. Okay. Let's go to that next shot there. And then this is the last one where sometimes I think people get into this kind of like, are you just like, like, well, I don't have any ideas right now. I just, Maybe this is a simple idea of doing it. I've had a ton of fun doing it. This was with some Polaroids and some 3D insects in the world. Basically, I wanted to make a collage, obviously, a rainbow wow. town, like rainbow coin. And for about a it took me a month to do this, just because, and I, I just did it in one location. But I was forced to look at everything around me because constantly I was looking for something yellow that was a little green on the bottom. Or you know, something that was kind of green on the top. And then it's a challenge. It it's super fun. creative, yeah. like challenge yeah. in that manner. But you can do it with the iPhone. Too. Yeah. Well, I later Photoshop, but like, imagine if you're trying to do that on purpose. How often we just drive around and look at stuff like, is that mm. a cool photo that's kind of blue on the top mm. and kind of green on the bottom? Mm. Yeah. So this was just a simple idea that anybody could try. Just like, it will really open your eyes to like, take you some people around you like, and look for for. That's it. Really amazing job. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Between Sets. Make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes. Thank you.